the universe as a whole is a very grand thing, not the least of which is because of how vast it is, and the various entities that reside within. Stars, planets, black holes, asteroid belts, and more litter the universe, and we here on Earth, a very, very, very small part of that universe, are often trying to find out more about the universe and what's out there especially when it comes to exoplanets that we'd love to go and visit if we get the capabilities. And NASA has just found a whole bunch of them. Allow us to show you 5,000 exoplanets. NASA confirms big milestone for planetary science. A lot of planets. Our tally of strange new worlds just reached 5,000. Astronomers have added the 5,000th alien world to the NASA exoplanet archive. Officials with the agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Southern California announced on March 21st. The milestone comes amid a surge of recent discoveries and the promise of more insights to come, as NASA's $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope readies for planet-gazing operations in deep space. The 5,000-plus planets found so far include small, rocky worlds like Earth, gas giants many times larger than Jupiter, and hot Jupiters in scorchingly close orbits around their stars, JPL officials said in Monday's statement. There are super-Earths which are possible rocky worlds bigger than our own, and mini Neptunes, smaller versions of our system's Neptune, JPL officials added. Add to the mix planets orbiting two stars at once and planets stubbornly orbiting the collapsed remnants of dead stars. The NASA Exoplanet Archive is housed at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. To be added to the catalog, planets must be independently confirmed by two different methods, and the work must be published in a peer-reviewed journal. The first exoplanets were found in the early 1990s. While telescopes on the ground and in space have done well to get the count to 5,000 since then, Jesse Christensen, science lead of the NASA Exoplanet Archive, stated on Caltech's website that the worlds found to date are mostly in this little bubble around our solar system where they are easier to find. Of the 5,000 exoplanets known, 4,900 are located within a few thousand light years of us," Christensen added. And think about the fact that we're 30,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. If you extrapolate from the little bubble around us, that means there are many more planets in our galaxy we haven't found yet, as many as 100 to 200 billion. It's mind-blowing. The first exoplanet. The first confirmed planetary discovery came in 1992 when astronomers Alex Wolskin and Dale Frail published a paper in the journal Nature. They spotted two worlds orbiting a pulsar, a rapidly rotating dense star corpse, by measuring subtle changes in the timing of the pulses as the light reached Earth. Ground-based telescopes did the heavy lifting in those early years, and it took several more searches to finally uncover the first planet around a sun-like star in 1995. That world was not hospitable to life as we know it. It was a scorching hot gas giant that whipped around its parent star in only four Earth days. Astronomers found these worlds by spotting wobbles, back and forth gravitationally induced motions of stars as planets tugged upon them. Larger worlds were easier to spot as they induced bigger wobbles. To find more Earth-sized planets, astronomers said at the time, they would need to try something called the transit method. That would assess the light of a star and look for tiny fluctuations as a planet passed across the face. Astronomer Will Barecki helped realize that vision as the principal investigator of NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, which launched in 2009 and exceeded its main mission by several years until it finally ran out of fuel in 2018. Kepler has racked up more than 2,700 planet discoveries to date, many of them Earth-sized or smaller worlds and still has a database generating fresh finds to this day. The Hunt for Exoplanets Many other instruments have joined the planet hunt since Kepler launched. On the ground, the HARPS spectrograph, which is part of the 11.8-foot, 3.6-meter telescope at the European Southern Observatory's La Silla Observatory in Chile, is an adept planet hunter of its own. By 2011, eight years after the first light, HARPS had discovered more than 150 exoplanets. While access has been restricted periodically in latter years due to the coronavirus pandemic, HARPS remains operational and continues to seek new worlds with high precision. In space, numerous observatories also assist with the planet search. Among them, NASA's Transisting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS. 
the NASA European Space Agency, ESA, Hubble Space Telescope, and ESA's characterizing exoplanet satellite, CHEOPS. Several other huge telescopes under construction on the ground, including the giant Magellan Telescope and the extremely large telescope in Chile, are scheduled to come online later this decade, adding other powerful eyes to the ongoing search. Webb will help enhance the tally of exoplanets by studying the atmospheres of several relatively nearby worlds in detail. While such work may focus largely on gas giants, scientists say Webb's observations will be useful for a future generation of observatories with even more high-powered optics ready to see the planets closer in size to Earth. Would you like to see some of these exoplanets? K2-18b The planet known as K2-18b is a planet that is rising through the ranks as a place where humanity might just be able to live one day, as long as other data about the planet holds up. The reason that K2-18b is getting a lot of attention is because of a discovery by the Hubble Space Telescope in that there is water vapor on the planet in its atmosphere. This is very important as water on a planet is one of the first things that NASA and other space programs look for when it comes to habitable planets. This is the only planet right now that we know outside the solar system that has the correct temperature to support water. It has an atmosphere and it has water in it making this planet the best candidate for habitability that we know right now. University College London astronomer Angelo Ciaras said during a press conference upon the discovery of the water vapor. The problem? The planet is huge, and we don't know a lot about the rest of it. But it could be something big going forward. Only time will tell. Tea Garden B and C Found just 12.5 light years from Earth around the star known as Tea Garden, two planets have been noted by scientists to be potential candidates for habitation. Known as Tea Garden B and C, they have the right size, are within the habitable zone of their star, and more. The two planets resemble the inner planets of our solar system, explains lead author Matthias Zachmeister of the Institute for Astrophysics at the University of Göttingen. They are only slightly heavier than Earth and are located in the so-called habitable zone, where water can be present in liquid form. Should they be deemed habitable, it could lead to many big things for humanity. But there is still a lot to study for both of them. But at the very least, it's an exciting prospect. Proxima Centauri b If we wish to talk pure distance, Proxima Centauri b is the closest possible Earth-like planet to us with a distance of just 4.2 light years from the planet. However, despite the closeness of the planet, there is a major problem in that the star it circles is 10% the size of our own yet it gets 70% of the energy it emits, so that works in the planet's favor. But the star is known for having massive solar flares, so that means the atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b could be thin or non-existent. This is a bit of a conundrum, but while it does have issues, it's a planet many scientists are keeping an eye on in case they feel that humanity could live there. The Importance of Exoplanets It may seem odd that many are excited about 5,000 exoplanets being discovered, especially since there are many more out there to be found. But the point here is that with every one we find, we learn something. And the more we learn, the more we can extrapolate about the universe itself. Plus, while it's likely that 99% of these planets won't be able to be lived on, we can still learn from them. Not to just that, but it'll make the discovery of that 1% of planets that are like Earth and potentially livable all the more important. Finding 5,000 unique planets isn't something to scoff at. It's something to be praised, and who knows what we'll find as we look deeper into space and witness certain things. Here's to the next 5,000. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at the exoplanet discoveries that NASA made? And what do you think this will add up to over time? Do you think that one of these planets might just be the Earth equivalent that we've been searching for? What other wonders do you think that these planets might have to show us? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.